Hey, okay, so welcome to this video. I'm going to try to do a new series of videos where I take a synthesizer and just kind of program a patch uh, just to kind of demonstrate what the synthesizer can do and demonstrate maybe how you can even make patches of, of your own. Um, I'm using the DeepMind 12 for this. It does some really cool stuff. And my only approach today is to try to make something that sounds different. So on the DeepMind 12, we're going to start with a... It's real easy to get a default program. You hold down Program, and you hit Compare, and that gives you a default patch. This has a... There's a sawtooth wave square wave combined in the default patch. I'm just going to keep it with a sawtooth wave for the moment. And I'm just going to kind of experiment with the filters and things. And I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing here. Just messing with the frequency. One thing I like to do to give some movement, that's what I'm going to do with this patch, is I'm going to try to make this a moving, sort of evolving kind of a patch that you can use either with a pad, maybe with a lead. I'm going to modulate the filter with an LFO. And DeepMind, it's, it's already set up so that LFO 2 is already patched to the filter LFO. do is to put it on a sample and hold. And I'm going to sync this sample and hold rate to the arpeggiator, which is currently set at... The default is 140, which is kind of strange to me. I'm going to put it at... I'm going to put it at 94. My clock divide on my LFO is set at eighth notes. These are whole notes. I'm going to add some resonance so you can hear a little bit more of what's happening with that filter. quarter notes. So now for Oscillator 2 is, a, is always a square wave, but you can change the tone of it. It's called tone mod. And I think what I want to do is I want I want the LFO to not only modify, modulate the filter, but this tone mod. So I'm going to go into mod, and I'm going to, my source, if I hold down the mod, I can choose what the destination is going to be by doing tone mod. So now just by moving the knob, or by moving the fader, it says tone mod depth. And I'm going to assign that to LFO2. 
I know there's a faster way to do this too, but now LFO2 is assigned to tone mod depth. I'll turn off the filter modulation just so you can hear it as I, as I crank this up a little bit. So I could actually, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to modulate that two ways. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put LFO one on there also. So LFO one, I'm going to put on a, it's on a slow uh, triangle wave. So I crank that up. It's almost like getting a little bit of a pulse width modulation type thing, but also with that stepping from the sampling hole. So I've got two LFOs actually modulating the tone mod depth. And then I've also, I'll add the um, filter modulation back in. As you increase the resonance, you get much more pronounced um, changes in the filter stepping, or yeah, in the filter modulation. I like that a lot. Um, <coughs> What I want, though, is I want my attack, I want, when I hit the note, I want there to be more of a, like a, uh, an attack to it. So I'm going to use the filter envelope, which, these have very snappy filters. You can hear as I adjust the decay how snappier it gets. And I want just a little bit of that. that tone. I think I'm going to assign LFO1 to also modulate the filter. Even though I've got I've got, mod, I've got LFO2 modulating the filter in a um, sample and hold. But I want to have the um, I also sort of want a sweeping going on. So I'm going to go back to my modulation. And we're going to go LFO1. It's going to control my BCF frequency. to go so it almost like disappears. That sounds pretty cool. I'm also going to set up I can 
LFO one will also modulate is also hardwired. Well, you can change it, but is also pre-patched, I should say, to oscillator to the pitch modulation. So what you're actually hearing there is is oscillator two. Um, modulating its pitch. Now, if I, if I engage sync, I get a cool little spin, sync sweep going on. one of the great things about the deep mind are the freaking effects that are crazy uh, one of the ones that I was really liking the other day is a called dual pitch what it's actually doing here it is here's just the patch and here it is with the dual pitch it's actually there's a pitch that's tuned down an octave and one the preset is tuned down an octave and then one that's tuned to a fifth so you actually get three tones you have your you have your root and then you have down um, an octave and then up a fifth that's your normal tone some delay and I'm going again I'm going to sync that delay to the clock some uh, reverb to it. I'm going to put it in a mode too that is um, I'm going to put it into a unison mode so now for every note for every note I play I'm getting actually two voices you don't really hear it yet, but if I if I detune those two voices, I'm gonna put it in unison three, which will actually play now three voices, which is gonna give me four voice polyphony actually on a pad. Basically, all you're hearing is the effect.
here's today's experimental patch of the day. I'm not even going to save it. Because part of the fun is making a different one. (laughs) 